Hello all, back again. This time I'm going to be showing you how to set up Moody Audio on a Raspberry Pi. Moody Audio is a music player which you can control either using your PC, tablet or your phone or any device you've got connected to your local network. So the first thing you want to do, on the top right here you've got download. So just click there and then just choose any of the top two to download the image file. I'll just close that window and I will close that down. So once you've uh, downloaded it, go into your downloads and the thing you want to do, you want to unzip the file. So extract to. Doesn't take too long to unzip. And that's done. And inside you'll have your image file. So the thing I will do first is uh, format my SD card. I always format it if I've used it before and I use SD formatter. It's pick the right drive which is H which is my SD card. So I'm just going to click format, click OK, OK again and that's done. And then you can just exit and now I've been using lately is a bit of software called Etcher to uh, write my images to an SD card. So I'll just start that up. First things first is select the image, which is in downloads, the unzip folder. It's already uh, picked H for me. So all I, have to, uh, all I have to do now is click flash. And it will start writing the image to the SD card. Right, that's all done now. You can close that window. If you see this window pop up, just cancel it. And the thing you can do now is just uh, plug in the SD card into your Raspberry Pi. Before you turn on the Pi, you want to connect an Ethernet cable. And if, like me, if you're using a USB DAC, you want to plug that in as well. So once you've done all that, you can turn on the Pi. And the thing you want to do I'm using Google Chrome is go to moody.local so I'll just type that in which is http colon forward slash and then just go moody.local and you'll get this web page come up it's already got some internet internet radio streams listed so you can start listening to them straight away but the thing I want to do, I've got all my uh, music on my NAS, which is a WD My Cloud. So the thing you want to do is up in the top right where you've got the three lines, click on there, and then you want to go Configure. And the first one is Sources. And then you want to go up the top where it says NAS Source. You want to click New. Source Name, you can give it any name you want to. I'm going to call mine music. File share protocol, you can leave as it is. In IP address, you want to uh, put in the IP address of your NAS. So mine is 192.168.1.141. I think that's right. And my remote directory is, I'll just paste it in. Mine is public backslash shared music flack. Even though I haven't got a password on my NAS, I still have to uh, put guest. Let's put guest in the first one, and for password, just put guest again. And then up at the top, you just want to click save. And if you've done it right, you'll get a little tick. If you haven't entered the information right, you'll get a little X in there. But as you can see, I've got a tick, so that's right. It's found the NAS and it's found the music. And the thing it's doing now is updating. It's up, well, it's updating the database. So the thing I'll do, I'll give that a couple of minutes to uh, sort itself out and then uh, come back with uh, the other settings. Right, that's all done. The thing I'm going to do now is go into Browse. Go into my NAS, music, and there's all the artists listed. Just scroll through them to make sure they're all there. Yep, that looks okay. 
The thing I'll show you now is how to set up a USB DAC. I use a Meridian Explorer 2. Right, all you want to do is go up to the top right and go into Configure. You want to go into MPD. And up the top here it says Audio Device. You want to change this to USB Audio Device. And the thing I do as well in Volume Control, I change it from Software to Disabled, so you're getting full, uh, full volume to the DAC. And then I can just change the volume via my Amplifier. And then just click Apply. And that's done. All the other settings can be left as they are. Don't have to change anything there. Now I'm going to go back into configure again. And now into audio. These settings can be left as they are. The only thing I do turn on in network audio, I use uh, my Pi as an airplay receiver because I, uh, I download podcasts on my iPad. Then I can play them back on my uh, amplifier. So I turn on AirPlay Receiver, and then just click Set on the right. That's done. And I also turn on AirPlay Metadata. Turn it on and click Set. That's done. Everything else can be left as it is. But down here in Audio Services, if you use a Last FM, you turn it on as, a, as I did above, and you just put in your login details. I'll also show you how you set up Wi-Fi if you want to use it. So I'll go back into Configure and go into Network. In here, if you're using Wi-Fi, this is where you put in your details. But I've got my uh, Raspberry Pi connected via Ethernet, so I'm not going to touch them. But everything's in there if you need to, uh, well, if you need to change anything and set up the Wi-Fi. So uh, that's all done. The thing I'm going to do now, I'll just play some music. So all you want to do is go into Browse. Go back into your NAS, music. If you want to, say in 808 state, I know I've got about three albums in there, so I can play them all. Just click on the right and I can click play. If I've already got some albums playing, the best thing to do is go clear and play. And then it'll clear whatever album you had playing beforehand. Then if I go into playback on the bottom right, there's all the 808 state albums listed. And they're now playing back. So, uh, as always, I uh, hope this video's helped and uh, goodbye.